Hello, I'm Andrew Gray, and today I'm going to read to you a short excerpt of Stuck in Oz. Jeremy continued driving over the unfamiliar roads, becoming more and more, more, and more nervous by the second. It seemed as though he'd been driving forever when the blowing snow got a green tinge and then turned yellow. Jeremy pressed the brake and prayed the car stopped. It slowed, and he rolled to a stop at the traffic light. Letting out a sigh, Jeremy turned back to check on Petey, and when the light turned green, he slowly inched his way forward. Some of the blowing snow abated in the shelter of the buildings, and Jeremy was able to see somewhat better. He pulled off the road and into a parking space. We made it, Petey, Jeremy breathed, grateful that his little brother was still asleep. He shifted on the seat and pulled out his wallet. There were just a few dollars in it. But the most important thing was his uncle fo uncle's phone number scratched on a post-it note. It was gone. Jeremy began pulling things out of his wallet and stared. The number was gone. What was he supposed to do? Jeremy went through everything again and cringed. When they'd stopped for gas, he paid, the ca paid with cash and the post-it note must have stuck to the back of the bill. Damn it, he swore quietly. He gathered up his things and put them back in his wallet then looked outside the car windows. The snow swirled around. He unhooked his seatbelt and shifted closer to the passenger window. He could see neon, neon shining ne near him, and in between gusts of winds, he thought he could make out the words bar and grill. Jeremy? Petey asked with a yawn and a stretch. Are we there yet? Almost, Petey. Are you hungry? Jeremy unhooked him from his car seat and helped him until he was standing on the tattered upholstery of the back seat. Let's get your coat and hat and gloves on. It's really windy outside. What's that? Petey asked, pointing to the windows. Snow. Do you remember the white stuff on the top of the mountains a few days ago? Petey nodded. Well, that's what it looks like up, up close, Jeremy said. It's cold and wet, so you need to bundle up good. Then we'll go inside, get something to eat, and try to call Uncle Milt.